Few games in recent years have been as interesting to follow as Heavy Rain. Quantic Dream's interactive narrative plays differently than pretty much any other game out there, and because of it, people have been a little wary of how it would turn out. While it starts a little slow, Heavy Rain's total package comes together to deliver a story that few games can even claim to approach. It's a fantastic tale that the gameplay serves in great fashion, and it's an experience that probably couldn't have been done any other way. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lord. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Far and away, the most important part of Heavy Rain is its story. Without ruining anything, it's hard to say why, but know that each of the four characters are interesting, their development is great, and once it picks up, you won't want to put the controller down. The one flaw to the storytelling and my biggest complaint about the game as a whole is that it starts out pretty slowly. Depending on how action-oriented you are, the first couple of hours can even drag on a little bit. Everything that happens is important to the story and what happens later on, but know that you need to stick with it until it really picks up. But like I said, once it gets going, you won't want to quit until it's over, and even then, you probably won't be done. The reason for this is that while Heavy Rain is technically a linear game, it'll play out differently for most people. Depending on what you do, what clues you find, who lives and dies, and even what you say, Heavy Rain's story will adapt to your actions. For the most part, you'll play the same sequences and see a lot of the same stuff until the end, but there's simply an incredible number of ways the story can come to a close. I won't say anything more than that, but knowing that the choices you make actually influence everything that happens from that point on, it puts a lot of weight on your shoulders and I found myself actually pausing the game more than a few times to really think about what I wanted to do. The last bit that I want to quickly mention about the presentation is that although the storytelling and dialogue is top notch, some of the animation, line delivery, and graphics are not. Characters' faces look great, but some of the objects in the world are pretty low res. Similarly, the animation has a lot of nice details, but the quality isn't perfect as hands and the like don't always look quite natural. Also, a lot of the characters are supposed to be American, but their actors weren't, and you can tell, which makes them sound a little weird at times. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? None of this is bad by any means, but when so much of the game focuses on the presentation, small issues like these stand out a little bit more than normal. As I alluded to at the start, Heavy Rain's control scheme has been controversial because a lot of people think that it's just one big quick time event, and this isn't actually true. Rather than having one button that you need to match, you're usually given multiple options and you get to choose what you want to do next. This could be anything from what you say to where you hit a guy. The key here though is that there's no game over screen. While you can technically fail an action sequence and let a bad guy get away, or even have a character die off or whatever, the story and game keeps on going no matter what you do. If a character's dead, you just won't see them anymore. This might mean that you miss important clues or that they won't be there to help another character that needs it, but things keep chugging along regardless of how you play. The great part about the control setup is that it allows the gameplay to adapt to the story much more naturally than it would otherwise. I'm not sure that Heavy Rain could have been made with a predefined control setup where the buttons always do the same thing, and fortunately, Quantic Dream was able to pull off this risky setup very well. Heavy Rain is an amazing ride. The characters are great, there are some awesome action sequences and some seriously tense situations, and a top-notch story ties it all together. It starts off a little slow, but it gets extremely good once it picks up. If you have a PS3, Heavy Rain is simply not to be missed. For the full written review, head over to IGN.com.